Dillon-Bergen is a linear second-order differential operator, typically in four independent variables. The time-independent version in three independent space variables is called a Laplacian operator. When its action on a function or vector vanishes, the resultant equation is called a wave equation or Laplace's equation. When its action is identified with a non-zero function or vector function, the resulting equation is called Poisson's equation. This equation is fundamental to and of great importance in field theory, both electromagnetic and gravitational. The generalization in curved spacetime represents Einstein's gravitational field equations of general relativity. Good introductions to these subjects may be found by navigating to Wikipedia and Wolfram Math World. The focus of this tutorial is to demonstrate that when acting on a four vector, the Delambertian may be factored into two four by four differential matrices in two distinct ways as follows. The four vector Poisson's equation may be written as a matrix product. This thus, when operated on a four vector, gives a matrix product definition for the Delambertian operator. The form may, of course, vary by respective columns and rows, as well as transformations, but can be written as either of the following matrix products. Way back when, I verified these by hand, but nowadays there are internet tools that make verifying and displaying so simple. Each of the matrix entries is a partial differential operator, but in the matrix product operation, each functions just as a real number constant. So, an online matrix multiplier is the perfect application to suit the purpose. The website you see here has a wide range of online calculators, including an extremely versatile matrix multiplier as well as many, many other things. So navigating to the matrix calculator at the following specific web address it is a simple matter to enter the matrix entries, whatever you prefer, and enter A times B in the Formula 2 box. Then click Evaluate, and the result is displayed right away. And you have just verified the first expression. But the dialog box editor is simplistic, so it's more difficult to change than even with Notepad, especially if you don't spot it right away. And if you want to use the same entries or a minor modification, retyping is tedious. So your best bet is to create a text document with the entries, and cut and paste them into the dialog boxes. Repeat the process with the second expression and you've verified both rather complex expressions in just a few minutes. When the matrix multiplication website first appears, the Formula 2 box is initialized with a random common selection. Make sure to enter A times B before clicking Evaluate. Notice that the second matrix pair is just the first pair in switched order. So to evaluate the second of the matrix product pair, simply type B times A in the Formula 2 box and click Evaluate. There you have it. You're done! Another great thing about using this description of the Delambertian is that if the matrix is applied to the column vector, the result may be expressed in terms of E and B vector components associated with the electromagnetic field, with the appropriate definitions of A0 and X0. And when the final matrix is applied, the result is Maxwell's inhomogeneous field equations with the gauge fixing term, because the homogeneous field equations are identities which actually appear as such in the final computation by all those terms cancelling each other out. So this is an incredibly compact way of writing both Poisson's equation, the wave equation in free space, charge free, for the electric and magnetic potentials and Maxwell's equations.
For more enlightenment, visit the websites listed here. which you will find in the description area below, as well as the matrix multiplier links.